Baby Talk TV Welcome to Baby Talk TV Baby Talk TV You're tuning in to Baby Talk TV The newest podcast to hit the streets Bringing you the latest celeb news Economical updates Real street smarts, live interviews, and the hottest spiritual segment, Higher Motivation. Join us every Monday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook Live. And every Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Instagram Live via Golden Baby. Baby Baby Welcome to Baby Talk TV. Hey, look, that was the intro for Baby Talk TV. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's Friday. We're a little late, CP time, but we're here. We're going to do this. You dig? All right. Uh, Fetty say he en route. That's what's up. I got a few vi- I got a few visitors um, stopping by tonight. I got my boy Charlie Hawk. You know, he a part of the Baby Incorporated team. All things Baby, man. Um, we live on YouTube, y'all, as well. Make sure y'all... <clears throat> subscribe and hit that bell for me, all right? So, Baby Talk TV, welcome back for more Baby Talk TV. This is episode six. I'm your host, AC Golden Baby. Tonight, you know, we're we going to bring you the, the normal higher motivation brought to you by Baby Talk TV, brought to you by My City, My Music. We in the building, man. Shout out to the platform that gave us the ability to come on and do our thing from this bigger spot, you know what I'm saying? Um... We gonna sell some tickets soon too, where you all can also be a part of the live audience. And um, we got some things that that's gonna be posted this week, letting you know how you can get yourself on the show and get your spins in. All right. So look, <clears throat> if you like to rap with me, give me a call, man. It's five one five five nine nine sixteen eighty seven. I love to hear from you all. Uh, we just dropped the Golden Child album, man, last thirty Thursdays, which was uh, Thanksgiving, and it's doing fairly well so i want to thank y'all for that you know what i'm saying for getting out those of you who have been streaming it those of you who love it and and say y'all got it on repeat and all that i appreciate all that um all right so we were gonna tap in with rashida gasaway i'm not sure where she is um today but we're gonna get into our main topic of the night and that main topic is our memories and experiences are embedded within us okay now, this is a topic I touched on a little while back when we had it, uh, when I was just in my living room. So I figured I'd come back tonight and elaborate on this for those of you who have not um, had an opportunity to hear this excerpt. Uh, we got, uh, excuse me, we got Ronald, we got somebody, like Donald coming in, not Ronald McDonald, I'm so sorry to put your name like that. My brother Don, <laughs> my brother Lil Don coming in the building as well. He's going to sit down at the table with us, bro. Um, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll learn to approach the door at some point. All right, so listen, man. Our memories and experiences are embedded within us. This is a very important topic. It may not sound like much, but the deeper we get to hitting the, you know, the crevices of what's going on, what I'm trying to get out to y'all, it's going to become more and more clear, okay? So <clears throat> our memories and our experiences create our views and perception of the world in ways we barely realize sometimes, okay? Uh, we're built like blocks of Legos of memory, and they come together in order to form our very own consciousness. Would you agree, Mac? Yeah, I can agree on that. Okay, all right. Yeah. So look, feelings, hopes, expectations, and fears are all built upon what we've experienced in our lives. 
And if all these things are based on our past memories, how can we experience new things, one may ask, right? There are difficult types of memories, and I'm getting ready to go into just a couple of those topics, then we're going to get into a song, and we're going to get back into this, all right? The first is procedural memory, folks, all right? And that's created by associating the feeling you had when this thing occurred, okay? So this is like the memory that associates a feeling with it, okay? Procedural memory, all right? Associated with the feeling you had when something occurred to you back in the day or in your life, right? So the first is uh, the example that I have for you is the first time you got on a bike and you rode it, say you fell off the bike. Well, you would forever associate riding a bike with that feeling you had from falling off. No, I might not want to get back on that bike because it hurt. So now my procedural memory, it, it basically is associating that feeling with the actual act of riding the bike, okay? So um, hence creating a fear. The second... The second is declarative memory. It's a conscious recall of things. Simple things like what you had for breakfast. It's that simple. Bro, check the door for me real quick, please. Um, now let's move on to our experiences, all right? And apply the two concepts. All right? Everything we learn or experience in life how to read, how to resolve conflict, et cetera, makes us who we are. It's, it's a, it becomes a part of our char character, our experiences, the things we learn in life, the things that we, um, you know, our experiences. That's the best way I can put it. Um, so things like who taught us, who taught us, what taught us, our learning experiences themselves are embedded in our memory. Like I still remember to this day who taught me how to read. I was five years old. And my cousin Brittany, Bo two times, she was the one that taught me how to read. And I'll never forget that first book that I learned how to read. Like, I still associate that in my memory. And I was very, very young at the time. So, and that book was called Pizza Party. And I'll never forget it. Like, still to this day, she cracked up because I showed her an image of the book earlier this year. And it was just funny that I had remembered that. All right? So, pay closer attention to the things that you remember. These things bring meaning to our moments and apply those emotions to further situations and you begin to better learn yourself, who you are, what you like, and what you dislike. Charles, anything, go ahead and elaborate on that. Yeah, uh, I, can, I, can, I can piggyback on that, you know, pretty much what you said. Uh, what you said what you said <laughs> yeah, it's, it's important it Let makes you, who blunt, you it makes you who, who you are and it and it builds you up and you know you either you know have the the know-how to, to to go and know how to build on that you know like basically like with the like you said memories and and all of that you know what i'm saying it pretty much shaped you like you said into that very much so you know, become whole, or rather. Very much so. All right, but look, a little step deeper, look. A step further on this, just to bring y'all to the center and help y'all understand, right? This is how you, in you create yourself intentionally, not by mistake, not by niggas that didn't just fell into your life or whatever, but intentionally create yourself, okay? Um, with the intent or purpose of doing so, right? So the better you understand who you are and why you are the way that you are, the more empowered you will become as an individual. You're going to feel a sense of control. What's up, bro? Come and join us at the table. You're going to feel a sense of control and understanding for yourself. Now, we get ready to move along, and then we're going to come back into this topic because I really want y'all to tap in and understand the in-depthness of what's going on. Charlie Hawk, that's Don. Don, Charlie Hawk. What's up, what's up, YouTube? FB, we got Don. We got Don in here, man. We about to do some work on some music real soon. All right, he been trying to catch a nigga, and he's been, hey. He been hectic trying to get in there with, hey, it's all good, though. You my brother. I got you. All right, look, man. So look, 
I got my guys tapping in. We getting ready to get into a song, man. Y'all know that we just dropped the Golden Child album. Tonight, I'm going to play something from the GOAT, and I'm going to kick it off just like this. For Moore's Baby Talk TV, man. Y'all know what it is. Look, we did have a special guest drive. Actually, we got quite a few special guests driving by. Um, so we're gonna make good use of our time. But tonight, uh, where is Rashida, Mr. McFerguson? I just called her, she's on her way. All right. Well, when we get her, all right, Rashida. She okay. should be, she yeah, should be right I see tuning her. in I real see her. short. I see her. Okay, there she go. There she right. go. How y'all doing? It finally work. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand <laughs> Hey, look. Let me get you. Let me get you. Make sure you you on YouTube and make sure you on Facebook too. I right, bet. Miss Gasaway, we've been trying to get you on here for like two weeks now. <laughs> yeah, it's finally work on that link you got over there. I know it ain't easy. It ain't easy. <laughs> but look, so 
So, Ms. Gassaway, tell us, man, uh, first and foremost, do you hail from, uh, is it flipping back and forth, bro? Does it do that or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, do you hail from Maryland? What? Where are you located right now? Born in D.C., live in Maryland right now. Okay, okay. All right, Rashida, we've been looking forward to talking to you. I'm going to give you the floor for a minute because this month we hide, highlighting our women all month. So I want to give you an opportunity to explain a little bit about what you do. Uh, we know you got Rossi Delights. We know you got Ra Ra Management. And you do a lot of other things. Can you tell us about that? I have the food with uh, Rossi Delights. But then the Ra Ra Management is the RS Management and Music Production. But I did Music Production first. A TV and film, and I got a place with CW Network from that, and then I went to management afterwards. And on top of that, I have a perfume line I'm working on, as well as a shoe line that I got offered earlier today. And I'm going awesome. to the acting world in about a couple of months. All right. Well, congratulations. Sounds like you're a very, very busy woman. So I mean. Thank you. Are there any new upcoming projects, artists, anybody you need to highlight tonight that we um, should be Adrian following? from DMV area. She's a singer. She's doing a, a virtual performance showcase for the 20th. Um, I got that with her through a uh, associate in New York doing a virtual showcase because of COVID. And then from there, um, working on getting her some more shows via virtual until the COVID, you know, kind of calms down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So how are you making use of everything? Like in this time, how are you managing to still stay above the water and get through these times and still maintain yourself as a successful businesswoman? Food and radio interviews and pretty much just keep myself occupied with the digital, as digital aspect of everything now. Okay. Use, make use of the digital platform. All right. So, I mean, where where do you are you mobilized as a as a company or do you you primarily just work out of your region? No, I'm mobilized. I go everywhere. OK, awesome. So are you looking to bring in any new talent? Probably about two more. And after that, I probably will stop because I do need to go back in the studio for myself and get back on my equipment. So I say. Yeah, about two more hours, and I'll give it a break. All right, and for everybody that's watching, uh, as the screen is flipping back and forth, the other uh, person on the camera you all saw a couple weeks ago, that's Kennedy Lee McFerguson of McFerguson Enterprises. We got some special co uh, stuff coming up as well. Um, a opportunity for dancers to get signed to his agency. So if you're, you know, you, if you're interested in that, we're going to be posting some information up about that very, very soon. Um, Rashida, Rashida, excuse me. Where can we find you? Where can how can the people contact you if they need to holler at you about anything? Your Instagram, um, Ra Ra Management, Instagram, Rossi Delight, and then Twitter, Ra Ra Management, and Facebook, Rashida Gasaway. Okay, awesome. Repeat that one more time for the people that can't rewind. <laughs> Twitter, Ra Ra Dot Management. Facebook, okay. Rashida Gassaway, Instagram, okay. Ra Ra Management, and Instagram, Rossi Delight. Okay, awesome. And before we let you go tonight, I want to ask you one last question. And um, with the vice president elect being a black woman, how do you feel? Um, does that make you feel like you have better chances, you know, doing what yeah. you're doing? Does that Definitely. empower you? Yeah. For sure. It made me go two times harder. Awesome. Awesome. That's what's up. That's what we want to hear, man. Rashida Gasway, is there anything else you'd like to say before? Or Kennedy? I'm just glad to uh, finally reach it. But I'm good. Yeah, we're happy to have you. <laughs> we're happy to have you. You know, anytime you, you, you want to stop by. Kennedy, anything you'd like to say before you get off? This is all about Miss Rashida Gasway tonight. I'm honored and just honored to be a part of of her movement and her situation that she has going on i just want everybody to be on the lookout for miss rashida gassaway she has a lot going on she has a lot happening and if you are an artist and you don't know who she is you will know who she is very soon and very shortly okay 
Awesome. All right, well, thank you all for coming on Baby Talk TV tonight. This is episode six for all of you all um, who are tuning in right now. Y'all know how to get a hold of these people. Um, very resourceful people within the industry that, you know, if you have any questions or you're trying to do anything musically, dancing, um, I believe Miss Rashida has production too. So, um, yes, I do. Yeah, she's got production, like, very great production so y'all tap in man because a lot of y'all be sleeping on the women man we strong out here we get to it all right all right miss gasaway man it's all love you and kennedy man i'll tap in with y'all later you already know thank you for stopping all right. by thank all right. you for having us no problem thank you anytime all right <clears throat> yo 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 we back for more we had Miss uh, Rashida Gasway finally stop by. What's up, wife? Um, everybody that's joining us now. Um, it's good to just see black women, all women, but black women in particular doing their thing and uh, getting to it, getting to a bag and trying to be innovative and, uh, you know, progress the culture. That's how I see it. You feel me? Because that's what I'm on. All right, so back to our concept, memories are embedded within us. All right, everything we learn or experience how we read, how we resolve contra uh, conflict, etc., makes us who we are. It builds our character. It basically stamps you. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so these memories, how all this plays alone together, this is how you create yourself intentionally, as we were saying, um, or with intent or purpose. The better you understand why you are who you are, or how you are, or why you do what you do, those types of things, the more empowered you're going to be as an individual. Thank you, Damon. I appreciate you tuning in, brother. You you a real one, for real, bro. Um, shout out to you, man, and your show. I did, to, uh, I did tap in the other day as well, man. But listen, so you're going to feel a, a sense of control. Now, all of us want a little bit of control in our lives. Our lives. Otherwise, the world is controlling us. Because if you ain't controlling you, then who's controlling you? Because you're being controlled. You feel me? So it's either like you going to take the control and do the necessary things for yourself in this life, or you're going to let another nigga push you wherever he decide to. You feel me? So we got we to gotta get more control of our lives, man. That's important. And we also have to understand that all these experiences, all this living is going to begin to drive new emotions within us, right? So we got our old emotions that are embedded within us, but the more we continue to live, we get new emotions, right? Because of new experiences, new things that we've, we've done, you know what I'm saying, in our life, right? Um, so we got to know what to do with those emotions also. I'm a very, very, um, no doubt, D, no doubt. I'm, a very, I'm very big on learning how to properly distribute your emotions, understanding where they go, how to use them. The mind says it's, it starts with self. That's absolutely true. That's what we're talking about. This community form where we come and build and we extract, you know what I'm saying, what's going on on the inside to put it on the platter for this community form to be able to talk like adults, think like adults, communicate like adults, and hopefully make some changes within our communities, our households, the way we are as parents, you know what I'm saying? The better ourselves as my, personally a mother, or you personally a father, or whatever it is that you may be, an uncle, or whatever, to be better for not only ourselves, but those around us, especially those that look up to us and, and think highly of us, you know? All right, so... um. Distributing emotions, very important. Y'all know I always talk about misplaced emotions, right? Misplaced emotions are those who um, haven't yet understood that sometimes when you're going through pain, you react with anger. So you're not using the right emotion at the right time. You know what I mean? And that comes from a lot of uh, with how you were raised. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things, uh, uh, emotional damage that was done to you as a child, trauma, things that... You know, these are the embedded emotions that we're talking about that you hold and hover within, all right? So humans are, well, let's talk about harnessing the good emotions and releasing the negative ones, because that's what it's all about. You know, we can make excuses and say, hey, man, I've been through this, and such and such did this to me, or we can let that shit be what it is and 
take off. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do, man. Anybody want, let me let Don elaborate on that, man. Give him some showtime. What you think about that, Don? Man, I think that basically, like you said, uh, mind is key, knowledge is key, you know what I'm saying? And uh, working Facts. together is, is basically something that we need to do as a, as a, as a, as a people, mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, and I'm a new father, so. Absolutely. All, all that and a home. great one. Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it. We all parents right here, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And um, with being a parent comes great duty, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Charles, elaborate. Yeah, you know, I, I feel that, you know, I've been through some situations myself where, you know what I'm saying, I had to, that switch, you know what I'm saying, that self-control, and like you said, it, you know, it all come to come, come together back as one because you have to learn how to control that. Fact. And sometimes, you know what I'm saying, not to be too long, but, you know, sometimes yeah. we have to learn the hard way to learn how to control that. Very good point. You know. Very good point. Y'all... <laughs> I want to share a secret with y'all. Y'all might laugh. I don't give a fuck. I'm open. Guess what I did? <laughs> don't laugh. Fresh. I put my hat back on. Fuck y'all. You hear me? I, I just did it because it's natural. You yeah, hear me? Because I, I could do that shit. Yeah. My shit will be back next yeah. week. Yeah. I could do that. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, you fresh with it. Though. I'm fresh with it. Fuck yeah, all that. But fact, look, man. Yeah. Listen, humans are a habitual species. So what we do day in and day out becomes an automatic programming within us as do our emotional responses to it. So this is, this is where we go a step deeper, right? These emotional responses, right? The habitual species that we are, our day in and day, in, day out activities become automatic responses. Like we get used to doing a certain thing every day, then that just be our, we don't even have to think about it the next day. You know what I'm saying? That's just what your, your, um, your routine is, you feel me? So the same thing happens with our emotional responses to the things that occur, right? So this is going to begin to affect how we approach situations and how we'll handle them, all right? Hormones and chemicals are released into the body when we go through things, both stressful and positive, meaning the body knows it has experienced it before. This is deep. The body knows, it recognizes trauma, pain, something you've been through in the past. It knows how to respond to it based on its previous response to it, okay? Um, so our bodies are going to find the easiest and most comfortable pattern to follow, or in this case, our patterns related to our past experiences. Self-fulfilled prophecy. Listen. Here's where the anxiety and the PTSD experience related stuff syndromes come from. Past experience related to negative feelings. So if you went through something and it turned out negative, you had a negative emotion or reaction to it, then it creates the same response to it. If, if that were to happen again, you're going to feel the same way. Um, because we're con uh, constantly anticipating those same negative scenarios, which is stress, worry, things we're not supposed to do. So when we are treated a certain way, we end up becoming that person. When we allow things to continue to happen, that is our acceptance for it. Do you understand that, women and men? Yeah. If you keep yeah. allowing the same thing to occur, you don't have to say, you, you didn't want the shit to happen or whatever. You keep right. allowing it to happen until you put your foot down. Fetty Wap in the building. Is that Fetty? No, that ain't Fetty. That's the G coming on the show next. What's up? What's up? Big Rich in this bitch. You heard him. What's going on? Hey, look. What's good? Look, man. Um, <clears throat> so when we treat it a certain way, we end up becoming that person. Like... Think about the victim, the scenario like like uh, people that have been raped as a child or went through stuff like that. Not saying all of them, but there is a good percentage of people that have become that same individual. Right. You know, right. it's, it's true, actually. Um, and when we allow these things to continue to happen, that's our acceptance for it, okay? That's us like saying, Cool, it's okay. Just like you 
doing a repeat all the time with the same nigga. You know he ain't going to never change, but <laughs> you you basically accepting it. You know what I'm saying? I um the more we accept it, the more it consumes us. All right? So what happens? What happens when you keep pouring oil into a full bottle of purified water? Eventually, it becomes nothing but oil. So now it has consumed you. Remember the line in, in, in um, damn, uh, Will Smith's song. What was it? Because hate in your heart will consume you too. That's a true statement. I'll never forget that. Um, but the question is, people, what are we pouring into ourselves? Now, we all got our different vices, whether it's a man, a female, whether it's a drug, whatever it is that you're going through that you can't shake. What are you pouring into yourself? All right. Now, watch out with the process of fulfillment and make sure it's good fulfillment if you if you into that. Right. Because whatever you full of is going to consume you. All right. Routine behavior like this becomes programmed or embedded and we stop using our minds and become trapped in continual cycles of process and emotion. All right? We must break the cycle and begin rebuilding ourselves, harnessing the good experiences and releasing the bad ones. So now we're talking about the distribution of those emotions, the things you go through. I know a lot of this stuff is hard, and it's easier said than done because a lot of us experience this shit. You know, some people may not understand how you got through that or whatever, you know, but I know it's not as easy as it sounds, basically. You know what I mean? A lot of us have to do, some of us have to do more work than others to get to that stage, you know? Right. All I can tell you is, you know, pull, pull closer to God. Uh, De Demon Dawson said, as humans, we are supposed to make mistakes in life. We are supposed to fail. And sometimes because we learn from failure, failure is not bad. It is a teaching tool. Mistakes you learn from and you most def definitely, okay, unity is the most definitely needed amongst, unity is most definitely needed amongst us all. Um, everything you said was on point. Um, any, you guys want to elaborate? Don? PTSD real as hell, man. Like uh, for real. Like I, I kind of like I don't want to say I had PTSD or you know what I'm saying or trying to you know, but uh, PTSD like you say you get to a situation and, and you just get this certain feeling like butterflies or, or mm -hmm. whatever it is or, and it's real, man. So I, I, I stay from around and, you know, other people bring negative vibes and negative energy and, and What's what up, they bro? got, yeah, and yeah. what they got going. So yeah, yeah facts, yeah, PTSD Charlie. Real. Yeah, for that's sure. I mean, yeah, that's real. And, you know, it could be any form of any type of trauma you've been through or whatnot. And and it could be, like you said, it could just be a trigger. It could be just the thought of what you've been through through the past. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, you know, if you still, you know, PTSD, it is real. It's like many other diseases and illnesses. And, and we got to recognize that, you know what I'm saying? And really, uh, because it, you know, that that has a major effect on the community and the environment Definitely. and our children as well because we all been through trauma and how do you channel that pain? How do you channel that hurt? How do you channel that energy and let it out? Yeah. You know, so yeah. that's 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 real. Yeah. What you said? Yeah. Hey, look here. Straight up. Hey, man, got the guys in the building. Look, man, I love when my people stop through, man. It's, it's always a blessing to have more energy good energy at that and engagement from you all is always very helpful man make sure y'all go to uh, my all things baby page on youtube subscribe 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 and please press press that bell all right so you can get them notifications all right um because like as you can see we got a lot of great content coming and, and it's gonna continue to come man we just continuously building man um what up, Clara? Thank you for the likes. I appreciate all that. We can right get into a song, man, and we might have a few minutes for a Freestyle Friday. Freestyle Friday. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's see what we got. Hold on, hold on. What we got here? What we want to do, AC? Let's, um... This is so hard, y'all. Little do y'all know, I should have my uh, songs already ready because this shit is hard, man. Yeah, he's talking about, <laughs> don't be dissing me, man. <laughs> you can't diss me, they y'all up. 
Yes, he's a white nigga. Hey, facts, man. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. More lies. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's more, baby. Talk TV, episode six. We got 15 minutes in this bitch. I got my boy. See, only time I don't do this shit if I know it. I got a few rappers in the building. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all take y'all time. Don't be shy, nothing. <laughs> we just gonna get a motherfucking people a few bars. Y'all know we got Justin back here for backup because JB on that shit. Uh, uh, right, right, JB right. on that shit. You bars. hear me? I'm a, I'm a, I might let Jay kick it off. You hear me? Okay. Straight okay. up. I feel it. I JB feel on that. He ain't, you it. know, he ain't, and he ain't even shame about it. He say he ain't scared Fuck about it. Don't nah. play with him. He ain't don't play with him. Okay. Oh, my okay. mama, don't play with him. Okay. What's up, bro? I see you too, brother. Thank you for the support. It's always love, man, for life. For life. Let's see what we got on some beats, though. Just run it through some shit real quick. Right, right, right. Let's do it. I don't know what these are. Keep in mind, I'm just clicking shit. So, say go to the next or let's see what we can do. <coughs> Come on, Rick. He said get Big Rich. Do don't play with him. Stop playing. He said yeah. Rich and his bitch. Turn that shit up back there. Uh. 
We really don't really wanna play no games. Yeah, this like some real sexy no shit right games. here. No games, we choose. Mm. But I really just really wanna 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 yeah. hang with you. Yeah. Give a nigga, give a your best, babe. Give a nigga your best, babe. Yeah. Just give a nigga. Your best, babe. Who up? Who up? Uh. Your best. On the road doing shows, staying on my toes. Baby girl, I don't be fucking with these hoes. Ooh. In that SRT, chilling, blowing octomos. What? Your ex is lame, he still wears brother clothes. Ooh. Baby girl, you so beautiful. You don't even know all of the things I want to do to you. When you shake your ass like you playing with a hula hoop. Ooh. Go ahead, take the keys to the coop. Look, there's got some money. Yo, uh, go ahead, kick babe. it with your friends, baby girl. Yeah. Give a nigga I ain't worried about your babe. man. I ain't, I ain't worried about your friends. Give a nigga yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah, we do this shit for real. Give a nigga your best. Give a nigga your best. I'm counting them trenches, trying to get the money, trying to bring her home back in the day. Used to hop them fences, worry about me on the late night, cause I'm trying to get the cash right. Double up, gotta come back to you, cause you keep it tight, keep it real on the G. You already know how it be. Up to, up to uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Well, my nigga Justin, yeah. I must trying to get a Gatorade. <laughs> Got on. some cotton mouth. Come on, it's on you, bro. <laughs> you know I'm from the south. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, uh. this pizza a little smoke slow to me, but okay. I'll try to do and see what I can see. Okay. <laughs> see, we're here with AC Baby, and the baby to talk on the Friday night is the place to be. Ooh. Ooh. See, we got the heavy hitters. Uh, Coming up next, you better stay with us. Uh, uh, we are the illest, we are the we are the hottest because I say so. We said it's getting kinda cold outside. Tell them haters they gotta run and hide. Okay. Because we're taking over. Because we've been doing this shit so long, bitch, I ain't no soldier. Motherfucking general the capitan. I do what I can. Okay. The pro- taking my people to the promised land. Yes, sir. No, I said shit. Let's see what we got. I said talking. Hey. Yes, I'm running, you're walking. Don't play with us. Miles behind. Yeah. You're trying to stay in line. Okay. But you keep walking on. Gotta stay strong. You got to stay Standing by with the tear in my eye. But I just keep walking, not trying to. I go along. <coughs> I sing my song. Got the baby talking. Yeah. Never gonna give up. No, no, no. Got to stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. Yeah. Many nights I straight fell off yeah. Got to think about hitting the hustle and bumping bells off what? You already know, hit the block and dump some shells off Ooh. Trying to get the same mindset for me and risk it well off what? Yeah, I gotta stay strong All this pain inside of me, man, it's been so long uh-huh. Yeah, I'm trying to do right, but what a way I go wrong So yeah. you got to feel my shit when I'm saying this song Yeah, cause it's real Stay strong, got to stay strong. Yeah. Stay strong. Got to stay strong. So you do, yeah. Stay strong, stay strong. Yeah. Yeah. Look, what you got? Stay, stay strong. In the hood, they say I'm they backbone, but I don't even what? know. I gotta continue on, but look, I'm smoking strong in this backwood and it's for real though. I don't know if a nigga trip me or pull that pill though. Look, that Glock stay close to me. I don't even, huh? I make you a ghost to me. You don't know. Look, freestyle, it's easy. Huh? Niggas talking shit, but this shit ain't reason. I fucked yeah, up. Talking greasy. Uh. Please believe me, I'm a soldier from these motherfucking streets. 87, baby. Hmm. I just look young like a hella, 
Hella young ass baby <laughs> But it's AC baby All things baby They be like What is your obsession with the baby Bitch it's just a Form of the purity form Y'all know how I get down I got a community form I do this shit for real right Here on Baby Talk TV My city, my music That's who hmm, That's who see me Put me up on the mic Let me do my thing You know I'm coming with that I, I feel like Michael Jackson Moonwalking on these hoes But I be moonwalking on these hoes I lose a bitch I'm lyrically too inclined I do this shit, man, I'm too advanced with my mind uh. Yeah, hit him with the bars, just a freestyle I don't even do this shit for real But I do this shit for y'all uh. Yeah, I do this shit for y'all uh. 100 mm. Back in the streets, I'm packing you Yeah, yeah Can't hit them high notes Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Scooby Doo, he tried to find a clue. Looking out there, Carmen San Diego, where are you? Or where's Waldo? She's too tall though. I don't want that hoe. I put her in the back row. See, I like girls my own height. <laughs> I don't like hoes that don't act right. That's right. <laughs> I said that hoe, she better get her shit right. Yeah. I oop that thing, it's so tight. Woo! Oh. Jamie killing the shit. <laughs> Out of the darkness and into the light. Hey, bro, like for real, bro. Got the sunglasses like Miami Vice. That's who we got, man. We gonna let Matt kick this off. Yeah. Let me kick it off. I don't know what the yeah. fuck all up with all these. I'm trying to get that. Finish him. Kick it off. Okay. What's up, Auntie? Uh, I'ma kick it off like NFL Sunday. Now we finna play that Max Why Shooter. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This that Max Shooter right here. This Kansas that shit. City, we do it out yeah, Let's bring it Ron, down. Ron always say he'll kill that beat. I already know, bro. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah, yo. You see Max Shooter? Okay. Yeah. From the home of the country grammar. A lot of niggas dead, a lot of niggas in the slammer Whoa. Where I'm from, boy, you gotta keep that fucking hammer So Whoa. I gotta tuck and get that money, man, I'm going bananas Whoa. Straight gorilla on the beat, boy, I bring it here Spit that fire, it ain't nothing, man Keep it real in the streets when you see me Cause I'm a real G Peace and love, let's speak Get this money, let's eat Woo! Yeah, we gon' toss this bitch yeah. around real quick Alright, let me see what I can do. Look down in the building, he about to kill this oh, shit. Play with this shit, man. Look, nah. this is a nice little beat though. Yeah. Look, this Shout out to Max Shooter. Look, I'ma hit the beat, huh? I'ma hit it hard. I don't give a fuck. Pull it down on your boulevard, you puss ass look boy. And look, I shoot at your fitted cat. We ain't doing that. We don't do no cap rap. No, no, we don't do no rap cap. Nah, for real. Look, we in the city, can't spell hustle with an option, it's the L. Right Look, on. talking all that shit, pussy nigga, can you fucking spell? I don't know what to do, hell no, nah, I won't fucking tell. Look, and I got the bill. Shake my shit yeah, if you don't like it, hear me. Bill. Yeah. Bill. Justin, what's up, what's up? Yeah. Uh, get your ass on the mic, man. Yeah. He say he's, he's done? See, kind of hard, hard rap when uh. I'm sitting down. Huh. It's kinda hard to rap cause I'm sitting down Looking around, nowhere to be found yeah. Down on the ground <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got the mic, <laughs> doing what I like Got the radio show, got the video show yeah. Got your old hoe uh. and your new hoe yeah. <laughs> Bitch in the cornfield and call her scarecrow Ooh. Better go somewhere, better cut your hair yeah. Better not stay or you get slapped for real like some regular bitches or yeah. some average hoes in the microwave the cheese of bitches my not bitch is shows. pose <laughs> my bitch is pose don't wear no clothes no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yo 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 that was just a little freestyle session hold on we got a hater on this bitch hold up who is that ryan machete let's 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 don't get blasted on this bitch it's better if you just shake my shit 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? For real, the judges in the building yeah, in don't get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? No, real shit, real bro. Shit. Don't you even don't come on this shit with that bullshit, no, bro. This is spiritual here, show. Man. We having fun. We jamming, man. If you don't like my shit, shake my shit. Shake. Don't bring your pussy ass back. You, you must here. be a motherfucking fan. Cause what the fuck you doing, man? Why, why you even here, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Why Niggas don't like shit. Don't waste their time, man. Get your bitch ass on. Bye. Somewhere. Holla. All right, but look, man. Y'all tuning in to Baby Talk TV, man. Don't get me started, little nigga. All right. Look, man. Real shit, man. We got some soldiers in the building. Stop playing. Listen, man. Um, we've been talking about our memories and how they're embedded within us. He said, God damn, laugh my ass off. It was a question. Well, you better make that shit clear, man. You all right? You good? You can stay. <laughs> you can stay. But be clear about that shit, man, because I take disrespect uh, kind of, you know what I mean? That funny shit, man. Make that shit clear. Reword it, man. That shit didn't come right. So all right? Baby. All but look, man, um, these experiences, right? Harnessing the good emotions and releasing the bad ones. That's what we want to work on doing, man. How do we do this? We expand our life through meditation, calming of the spirit, by experiencing new things, adding more and more good experiences until the oil becomes water again, until those new and better experiences begin to flush away the bad memories that are embedded with you. So you begin to pour more and more that that good energy in and all that other shit begin to press out you feel what i'm saying it gotta go reverse it same thing will happen if you cleanse yourself rid yourself of the emotional stress man we taking ourselves through unnecessary shit man it's easier than we think about see life is you know when in, in associated with god because that's the only one you can associate it with because he is the creator of all things when you think about that you got to say that it must have been made in simplicity you know what i'm saying life was meant to be more simple than we actually make it we we calculate too much shit whoever came up with math can go to hell but you know what i'm saying <laughs> real shit because we didn't need that shit that ain't how we we the you know egyptians made the uh the pyramids and shit still to this day they can't figure that shit out you know what i mean so that's right, real right. that shit came before mathematics before y'all came with all that shit nigga we was writing in hieroglyphics and shit stop playing with us all right but um reverse it you know, use this process to help others. You feel what I'm saying? What's up, little bro? Um, acceptance. Accept that it has happened. Moved on and keep pushing. A lot of us too many fucking crybabies out here, man. You know, like we, we all going through something, man. We got about five minutes because I started five minutes late, man. We're going to wrap wrap this up. And uh, y'all know what time it is, man. We do this shit every week, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Fridays. Make sure that y'all... Make sure y'all stay tuning in, man. Get on that YouTube, subscribe to All Things Baby, and hit that bell. Um, that my bill. brother said life was meant to be simple. Yeah. yeah, it was. It really, truly was. I just think that we yeah. put too much thought into this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so accept that it's happened. Move the fuck on and just keep pushing, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's light at the end of the tunnel, dog. You just got to keep going. Um, oftentimes, experiences try to leave us stuck right but you ain't gotta be stuck you know we gotta leave them as only not right now buddy we gotta leave them as only past memories apply them to a better lesson so that you don't feel so bad about it later on in life this is the key all right control your thoughts your emotions learning to be self-controlled individuals right that's a very important concept we need to all work on self-control if we could do that, the world would definitely be a better place. Yeah, that's uh, Ryan said, I dug that shit. Never disrespect. I'm, um, I'm messaging. I can't stand be because people will take some shit the other way. But, yes, I like this. Okay, well, thank you. And I appreciate that and no disrespect. And we can reverse all that because I got good energy. You feel me? I just If I feel disrespected, that's how it's going to go. You feel me? Uh, but um, be grateful for these experiences. They were designed for you. We, got, we keep forgetting that. You know what I mean? The, the experiences that we face in our particular specific lives are made for us so that we can get to whatever it is that, that is designed for us, that God got for us in this lifetime, all right? And that's personal. All right? Um, so, yeah, these experiences are your own personal library. Use them to grow from and then explore new things. Read them, edit, and create a new story for yourself if you want that. You can read, edit, just read, observe what you've been through, 
map it out, you know what I'm saying? You can edit that shit, change what you want, and live a different life. Who the fuck gonna stop you tomorrow if that's what you decide to do? It's only you that continues to repeat the repetitive cycles that lead you where you end up. Because you walked there. You went there, motherfucker. Sit down. Think about it. All right? Uh, so, yeah, don't be defined by them. Use them to mold and measure your forthcoming success, man. That's all I had for tonight, man. It's Baby Talk TV. Um, I'm going to let my guys say their goodbyes, man, tonight. It's never goodbye. We say see you later. See you later, man. For sure, for sure, man. Go follow me at uh, Dapper Dine on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Go tap in. Facts. Yeah, it's your boy, Charlie Huck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, peace and love to everybody. You know, go, let's all be great, baby. Let's do it. Uh, follow me at Charlie Hart Instagram. Yes, sir. Facts. Yes, sir. And my brother Titus said, I've learned to appreciate the bad transitions in my life, man. And that's exactly what we got to do. Um, embrace each, embrace one another. Embrace your experiences. Um, you know, remember the division of your energy. Try to decipher where you're going to put everything you go through. You know what I'm saying? Because if you put it in your everyday box then that shit just recurring every day, man. You got to push that shit to the past. Keep pushing forth, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's AC Golden Baby, your host. Baby Talk TV, episode six. Make sure y'all go and join uh, the YouTube, man. Catch up, man. Go download the Golden Child album, uh, Growing me me uh, me me Mechanism. Excuse me, I'm high, so forgive me. But y'all, uh, go and uh, please follow me on YouTube, All Things Baby, man. I love y'all. Be blessed. Stay peaceful. 100.